Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. I'm Jerry Bates and today we're going to be covering the first of a three-part series on how to manage images inside of WordPress. And here we're starting inside of the WordPress dashboard. Today we're going to click on the media panel and we're going to upload images directly into the media library. This is a really great way to upload images, especially if you have a group of images and you want to upload them all at once instead of one at a time. And the first place I'm going to start actually is not in WordPress, but in my computer itself. What I want to show you is the images I have selected to upload here. And you can see that two of them, Sugar Baby Working and rstaff.jpg, have nice meaningful file names which means that they describe the image a little bit but this one right here has probably a, a file name you would recognize as coming off of your digital camera doesn't really mean anything at all and what I'm in the habit of doing is renaming all of my images before I upload them to WordPress uh, it just makes my life a little easier when especially you have a hundred or so images inside of your media library but it also saves you a step down the road as well. So we've named this Colorful Cupcakes now and we're going to go back into our media library and we're going to click on the Add New button here at the top or you can also see it over here in the left Add New and when you click on that that brings up the Upload New Media panel. Not many things here you just click on Select Files and in this case it goes right to our file folder because we grab images from here pretty frequently however you might have to search around on your computer to find your image first depending on where you've placed it and here you can see I've simply highlighted all three images and this is the great way to bulk upload images is to just select them all and you can hold down the shift key if you have to as well and click on open and here you can see our images are all uploading now if you look here to the right you can see a little show link and if we open that up we can see that each image has some information about it and you can change these here or you can change them afterwards I like to add them right now while I'm uploading so that I don't forget obviously the title is colorful cupcakes and since we named it that before we uploaded it it's given us a nice title uh, instead of DSC dash whatever. However, you might want to clean it up a little bit by capitalizing it. And this really just depends on if your theme happens to show the title or not. In the case of the theme that installs with WordPress, it's called 2010, uh, in the case of that particular theme, titles are not displayed inside of WordPress. So we could have just left it the way it was. It would have been just fine. However, if you like to display titles of your images or your theme happens to use titles it'd be a good idea for you to change it there um, another part here that often gets overlooked is alternate text partly because it's not very well understood what alternate text is is it's actually a text description of the image and so it's not keywords it's not something where you would just insert five words with commas in between but really a natural language explanation of what the image is uh, for someone who can't see it perhaps and in this case this little alternate text field here is used by screen readers which is how sight impaired persons are able to access web pages so you would be describing your image for those people however also it has a very big benefit for search engines so search engines such as Google Bing Yahoo etc when they crawl your website they actually read the source code and that's a pretty important distinction they read your source code which means they don't have eyes and they can't see the pictures that are on your website so if you take the time inside of your alternate text field to describe the image you are also describing it to search engines as well and it also happens to be a great place to put keywords and here you can see I've actually added my own metadata here to my home page text and generally when I work on a page I have everything on it I have the text I have the links I have the pictures and each picture is meta description just ready to go just to make my life easier I'm gonna paste that in here 
And so with this alternate text, we've now described the image, and also we've used words like colorful and cupcakes, which will help us in search. And this is an area that you should do every time you upload an image or add an image to your page. Uh, also, we have an area here for caption. If we wanted to display a caption with this image, we could enter it here and it would show up on our site. It would be part of the border of the image. We're going to leave that blank because we don't feel like doing that for the home page. A description is something that not every theme uses, and in fact, the 2010 theme that comes with WordPress 3.0 does not use it. However, you can add an image description here, and some themes or some plugins will actually use that description next to the image. In our case, we're leaving it blank. I'm going to save the changes for that one. Notice that we haven't actually done the alternate text for the R staff or for Sugar Baby working. And we're going to update those actually inside of the library itself. So we're going to save the changes so you can see that we can change our images when we upload them, which is what we did here for Colorful Cupcakes, or by simply clicking on an image inside of our media library, we get the exact same options. So we're going to select this text, copy it and bring it over to our WordPress site, and now you can see we've added the alternate text to this image and all you need to do is click on update media and you can do the same for the third image but for now we're going to skip that because we are at the end of our tutorial so this is part one of how to manage images inside of WordPress and this is just a brief overview of the media library where you will be uploading and organizing the images for your site in the next tutorial I'll show you how to upload an image directly into a page or post as well as how to insert images and a few tips on how you can do it without driving yourself crazy. So until then, this is Jerry Bates for FittingSites.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.